Camera set. Overnight, the Hollywood ending many feared. The Writers Guild calling the strike after negotiators were unable to reach a deal with the studios and streamers, saying, for the sake of our present and our future, we have been given no other choice. On the Met Gala carpet, Tinseltown A-listers voicing support. I think it'll affect all of us. It'll affect every part of the industry and, and um, people beyond the industry. Writers like Cody Blue Snyder says many of his colleagues are making making less than they did a decade ago because of how streaming has changed the industry. We're asking for just a livable wage and, and for our jobs to be protected and for us to make residuals on uh, the, the, the content we're creating. So how will this impact you at home? That depends on how long the shutdown lasts. The 2007-2008 strike, which lasted 100 days, put some shows on hold for up to four months. The first thing that viewers at home will notice that their favorite late night shows will go into reruns. Hosts like Seth Myers, who's also a writer, voicing support for the union. I also feel very strongly that what the writers are asking for is not unreasonable. Daytime soap operas will also run out of scripts and it might not end there. If this lasts a couple months, we'll start to see the impact on the fall TV schedule and some movies will have to be pushed back. In the unlikely event a strike lasts more than six months, analysts say even next year summer blockbusters could be affected. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers says it presented a comprehensive package proposal to the Guild last night, which included generous increases in compensation for writers as well as improvements in streaming residuals. But this morning, no deal, as a high-stakes showdown comes at a pivotal moment for Hollywood. Hollywood. Miguel, a lot of shows being impacted. What kind of an impact, though, might this have on, let's say, an upcoming blockbuster movie or sh streaming shows? Well, Netflix recently said they have enough content to last them through the end of the year. And most major films set for release this year have already been shot. But the last strike in 2007 forced the James Bond film Quantum of Solace to be rushed into production. Back then, Daniel Craig said they had the bare bones of a script and couldn't employ a writer to finish it. Hoda? All right, we'll see how this unfolds. Miguel Almaguer for us. Miguel, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.